Hey, it's Christian with a quick video here for you that hopefully will help you out with understanding uh, locking and unlocking objects and a bit about layers in CorelDRAW because we have had some questions uh, in the Facebook group uh, about layers. People saying that they don't get layers, they don't see the layers. Totally understandable because it's, it's not anything like Photoshop uh, when you're looking at layers. Um, but anyway, we'll get right to it. We've got a request by a person in a Facebook group for CorelDRAW users um, that says she's importing this particular SVG file, which I had her send me. And when she does, everything's locked. And I don't mean group. I mean locked. And so if you're familiar with locking and unlocking objects, you'll know that once the objects are locked, you can't select them and that's kind of the purpose of locking them is so you can kind of put it in the background, lock it, and then now you can work on top of that uh, group of objects or that object and without selecting what's behind it. So that comes in handy if you're doing, um, you know, like you want it to be your background, but you want a bunch of other little objects on top of it that you want to be able to move around uh, and be able to select. So, for example, if I had this object here, I could lock it uh, by just right clicking on it and saying lock object okay now within that one I can have all these little other objects and uh, in here and so where this comes in handy is when you're zoomed way in on something uh, and you go to select this now if I didn't have this locked watch what would happen okay so now if I don't have that locked well, I can't I can't get in here and select that. I have to, you know, so I have to come in here and real precisely select the corners or the edges like this. I can't just draw so I, so in order to select all of these, I'm going to have to shift click, you know, each one of these rather than just well, obviously when I'm coming outside of the object, I could come in here and do this to select multiple items, but uh if I lock this, now I can actually come in here and select these items by starting my selection box on top of this. So hopefully that makes sense and you understand what locking an object is. Alright, so I'm just going to undo back to here. Uh, one thing I will tell you is that I've already checked out the SVG file uh, and the SVG file size, the object size was something like 11 by 12 or something like that. I don't remember the exact number, but uh, so anyway, what I've done is I've gone ahead and set this page size to 15 by 15 to accommodate the size of that object. Now, normally that's no big deal, um, but sometimes when you have objects that are hanging off of a page, so if you've got an object hanging off of a page like this, sometimes Corel doesn't know what to do with that and it just sort of goes crazy and that's especially true when you have multiple pages you can see the object just disappeared and so if I go to page two it doesn't really know what to do with it so it just sticks it on page one um, so when you've got objects outside of a page especially on multiple page documents uh, it can do some crazy stuff so uh, in order to prevent that from happening um, you know, normally I could just select that object, move it over onto the page, but when it's locked, as I said before, you can't select that object. So let's import the file that she sent me. Okay, and that's called New Monkey. Where'd it go? Okay, we'll import that. And when I do my importing, and especially uh, important on this one because it's locked. So if I come click over here, I'm not going to be able to move that because it's locked. So I'm going to hit enter because when you're importing, placing something, you're going to hit enter. It's going to put it perfectly in the center of that page. All right. So now you'll be able to see what I mean by the object being locked. See, I can't select anything here. I can't pick it and move it. Uh, if I select the edges, you know, I, I can get an edge and then I can, you know, right click on it, say unlock. But the problem is, you've got all these little objects, and it's they're not grouped, but they're all individually locked. So I'm going to have to come in here and individually lock every single one of these. And, uh, you know, that's that's a pain in the butt. Nobody wants to sit here and do a thousand clicks, so we're going to show you the easy way to handle that. All right, so what you're going to do is click Windows, and you're going to come down here to Dockers, and you're going to go to... 
object manager. Once you do that, this is going to pop out. You can drag this out of here if you want, and then you'll have a floating docker. All right. Uh, you don't have to do that, but if for some reason things don't show up right, you can always pop this docker out of there. All right. So now what you can see is this is going to show you your actual layers here. So you got layer one, layer one. Um, you can actually turn off uh, layers like that. You can stop them from printing. You can lock or unlock them. So this layer here is layer one. Let's lock it, unlock it. So you see that didn't work, right? So what I have to do is I actually have to come in here. Uh, so, well, what I did was if you just hit click the plus over here, you'll expand that whole thing. And I'm going to come here and click on the very top line. And then I'm going to scroll on down to the very bottom line. And I'm going to hold in my shift key and then click. And that's going to select all of those items. Now, I can come in here and right click over here and say unlock object. And that just unlocked all of these items all at once. So now I can take this and I can move it around. And just to double check that, I'm going to put it in wireframe here. And that's going to show me there's no other objects over here. Nothing else locked that I, that I didn't unlock. Because even though I moved it, if there was an object over here like this that, was, that I couldn't see, it was an invisible object because it didn't have a fill or an outline, but it was locked. And you're in normal. Well, sorry, it had a, an outline on it because I didn't unassign it, or, or, you know, I just default to having an outline on it. So, anyway, so now it's there. Uh, it, if I do that, I would never know it was there. So the only way I'm going to know that's there is to come over here to wireframe. And then I go, oh, I missed one, unlock it, and then delete it because we just, we don't need that little object. All right, so we've got our object back here. Everything's unlocked. I'm going to go back to normal. And I hope that helps you, because now you've got all these little objects, and they're all unlocked, and you can figure out whatever your next step is with this file. So I hope that helps. Um, and, and then this is your layers over here. This is going to give you a peek into layers. Y these are all the objects that are on this partic particular layer here. And you can expand and contract that. I can move things around and put one layer on top of the other. So this is where you kind of get into layers with CorelDRAW. Now, Typically, you, you don't really need to mess with this a whole lot because the way layers works in CorelDRAW is you can use uh, your shortcut or you can right click on this and you can look at order. And you can this is how you can move things to the back or back a layer or to the front of another layer. If you have a, like if I want to say to to front of a layer, I can do this and then say uh, it's going to put it at the very front. So I'm going to undo that. So it moved it here to the very top, which means it's going to be on the front of the layer. So as you move things around here up and down, that's going to adjust them in the layers. So if you think about this as a sandwich, this is the top slice of bread, and this is the bottom slice of bread, and this is all your meat and cheese in between. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an understanding about layers, a little bit of an understanding about locking and unlocking objects, and why you would lock un lock or unlock objects and uh, most importantly I hope this helped you solve your problem so you can now do this and uh, make that happen and you can continue on with your project good luck